November is National Homelessness Awareness Month right here in Wisconsin. NBC 15's Shayna Nijawin stopped at the state capitol this afternoon where state officials and advocates gathered to address the concerns of homelessness. It's a big, big challenge. Homelessness does not discriminate. Singles and you've got couples without children, you've got unaccompanied youth and you've got babies. Jannie Keister is an advocate and resource teacher for families who need help in the Madison area. And she says homelessness here in Wisconsin is not going anywhere anytime soon. I've been doing this work a long time and when I first started there were probably a hundred identified students in the Madison schools. And it's not unusual now to have 1,100, 1,200 students by the end of the school year identified as experiencing homelessness. Keister feels in order to take steps towards solutions, there needs to be more awareness, which is why she is joining state officials and fellow advocates to encourage the community to speak up. We didn't want to speak for the whole state at this event. We want each community to step forward and say, here's what we need. Rachel Lichman faced homelessness as a teen and while no longer without a home, continues to face housing insecurities. When I've been trying to search for resources, I like can't find them. Both Keister and Lichman feel systems need to be held accountable. For me, it was like child welfare systems, criminal justice systems. Um, just all those systems play a role, either they're in action or their action. The changes in the laws that allow us to actually verify and support and remove barriers for these students and families who are experiencing homelessness. Until then, the goal is to get the message out. If our community doesn't know that, they don't know how to step up to help us. And this event we're hoping will kick off events all over Wisconsin. Keister says across the state needs vary, and you can contact your area homeless liaison to find out how you can show your support. In Madison, Shana Najawin, NBC 15 News.